All right, so in today's video, we wanna tell y'all all about the Grand Californian and the club level. This is the first trip we ever took as the Christmas couple, so we're kind of learning as we're going. And super excited. And we're really excited to share everything with you all. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video and hear what we have to say about pricing. And is it worth it? Is it worth it? Hey everyone, I'm Andrew. And I'm Louise, and we are the Christmas Couple. And this is our trip to the Grand Californian to hang out at the club level. So right from the beginning, you get that like Disney employee yeah. awesomeness. They're just super excited and happy to see you. Yeah, they're happy to see you. And the hotel itself is stunning from the outside. It's just really the grandeur of it. You get and, it right away. And the logos they have everywhere are just beautiful. And the stonework is amazing. The door, you guys, we may or may not have stood outside that door for like 10 minutes to try to get the shot because it's so beautiful. And the lobby is my favorite lobby of any hotel anywhere. It's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. The craftsman style is the, the vibe of everything. It's, it's very cohesive. Um, these intense, intense, tall, you can see the, the ceilings go on forever. What's really cool about the fireplace itself is that it's designed to actually also be a fireplace within a fireplace. So if you see the outside of it has its own kind of hearth thing set up. So that the grates and the outside of it, and then you go into the big fireplace and there's another miniature fireplace okay, inside. Okay, I didn't even know that that's so cute. Yeah, so you can kind of see all- No, I totally see it now. The flames on the outside is supposed to be a big fire and then you kind of go into the little fire that's inside. Beautiful. There's a really cute gift shop on the first floor and they have some items in there that you're not gonna find anywhere else at Disneyland or California Adventure, items specific to the Grand California. Also on the first floor is the... Uh, Hearthstone Lounge. <laughs> I never know if it's Hearth or Hearth. It's, it's Hearth. Hearthstone Lounge and it's an old school, like they don't take reservations. Um, it's just come in and find a table and you just walk in, they open at four o'clock and they're open till midnight. If you just want like a, a nice, chill experience that's Throwback. not- Right, yeah, just more relaxing. So checking in, being in the club level, it's important to remember that you do not have to wait in this line. I we did not know. I forgot or I just didn't know, but there was a long line to check in. Um, club level, you can go straight up to the sixth floor and check in there, there's no wait. But even that long line, guys, we did not wait long. Yeah, they're really good about letting you know that you're being taken care of. You're that not they're forgotten. not just to, exactly. And the line moved quickly, even though it was long. So your room is not gonna be ready till about two or three o'clock, so if you get there early, Early, you still check in, they'll give you your key, and then you can leave your bag with Bell Services right here. So the club level at the Grand Californian is called the Veranda. Sixth floor. And it's got these gorgeous California poppies and the stained glass on the door. And we got there at like noon, a little after noon, and it was pretty busy. Well, and so every morning, I'm very she excited, was excited. Here. I love food, food drives me. Um, there are delicious treats and like, look at the Chippendale, like the characters, like they put thought into not just like, here's some delicious food. It's like, look how we put it for you. They have drinks for 21 and up, so you can go and a cast member will serve you. But they also had milk, juice boxes, water, sodas, like everything all the time, like in these little fridges down there. But so there's food available from 6 a.m. I believe they said till 10 p.m. Oh, the coffee station, there was coffee and hot tea. Oh, so into it. Really, really excited that there was, and there's also, so right here, this coffee station on the right, but on the left, there was also like a cappuccino machine. Like you could make an espresso or whatever you wanted. The best part to me is this like balcony outside where you could sit at this bar top. Like look at the trees, come on guys. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It was shaded every time we were out there. You could see the Matterhorn and it was just, the weather was so beautiful. And when the monorail is running, it wasn't while we were there, but it goes right beneath you. So if you take the stairs from the sixth down to the fifth, there's a really cool veranda that I had never seen before. Louise found it, but it kind of looks, it overlooks the pool area and it's a big sitting area. You can take your drinks out there and just kind of relax. There, there's the, the pergola, which I don't quite understand. Like if you want to sit in the shade, you want to sit in the shade. <laughs> but it just had like, I guess that's more decorative. Okay, so Andrew made fun of me, but I think this is huge for anyone staying at the hotel. It's a Chase ATM. We bank with Chase, it was super helpful. And it's right there. Nobody uses cash anymore. People want to tip people. All right, there's the Chase ATM, it's in the lobby. <laughs> so what's really cool about the Grand Californian, it has two really special entrances that you can't get anywhere else. There's an entrance directly into the middle of downtown Disney. But it was it was super helpful to be able to just like bloop right out there. You're not at one end or the other. You can go either way and you're equidistant really. Right. And then also of course there is a private entrance to uh, California Disney Adventure. California Adventure. Do they scan our tickets there? Yeah, they scan your tickets okay. and everything. And then it kicks you out right at Grizzly River Run. 
um, this really beautiful waterfall. You can hear it as you're walking in and the trees and it's a quiet area to come into the park. So it really feels secluded and special. So we got the upgraded park view room um, with the club level. And it's important that card, that same um, key card you're gonna get, it obviously opens your room, but it also is your access into the veranda for any time you wanna go in there, you need that. Otherwise you can't get in the doors. And it's important to note that you cannot book a king or queen or double bed room. You can only request it. So we requested a king size bed and we got it. They usually are pretty good about accommodating that. Yeah, and there's also double sinks, that's nice. And the the benefit of being at a kid-friendly place now that we have a toddler, this is super handy. That's what I'm saying here is that the the stool, like she, baby girl can't little reach. Little Mickey at the bottom of and it. And there's a Mickey. And like the- um, Rain shower. Rain shower. It just, there, there's thought. There's thought put into all the things. And look at like the artwork. Like, artwork above Dale. the toilet. But like it's everywhere. Like even the, look. I found a hidden Mickey while I was using- The facilities. The <laughs> um, a really nice closet, lots of space. The but, details in the artwork, like this is a reference to Walt Disney at Griffith Park and coming up with Disney and Chip and Dale on the wall. Just the details in the artwork are so cool. It's really, and I mean like this is just one room. There's six floors of rooms. So I just love that the detail is in all the places. This is our pullout sofa. Now we didn't even request that. So all is the there... rooms have pullout sofas. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. There's a little hidden Mickey on the end there. The room's a good size. I mean, it's not gonna blow anyone away. There are suites available, but it's a good size room. The real winner is the view. I mean, just our little porch area out there, our little patio. We had a table and chairs, which we did not use because we were so excited to be in the park. But honestly, like the view, like, look, we can see the Avengers Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Um, and with y'all, especially lit up at night, this was beautiful. This was so beautiful. Club quick. level's like a 60 second walk from the hotel room. Yeah, quick jaunt. But yeah, that's a little keypad you have to scan. There are times of the day when you can go when it's busy and times when it's not busy. And they'll serve lunch and those skewers are really good. Also, but something cool about the club level, there are constantly cast members coming around asking if you need anything and if they can take some plates out of your way. You and know. then at nighttime, about an hour before the fireworks, it really empties out. Um, so if you want to get there to watch the fireworks, you should got to get there at like at eight and they lay out all of these desserts. Oh my gosh, y'all, those were so good. Those little jelly donut beignet things. Mm. But lots of treats. Look, I love a good macaron, I gotta tell you, super good. Um, but yeah, we just sat out here and, and hung out and relaxed and it wasn't, it was so cool and nice as far as like weather. And then we can see look at the view of the fireworks. You can see it perfectly and they eventually started playing the actual music for it over on the overhead. So you could listen to the actual theme park music that goes with the fireworks. And they dimmed the lights for us out there. Like it was, and look, everything This is the up. view from the room at night. Yeah, it, it's just, I, I totally think that Club level is worth it because <laughs> of like me alone, I'm a very, I like to stay very hydrated. So the fact that there's water bottles in there and I could go grab them whenever. This is what they have in the morning. Yeah, there we go. That's the fun. Espresso machine. And just having this little patio to sit out on. I mean, on it's so nice level. in the morning just to sit out and. And see what I mean? We're never in the sun. This is the way it was built and where it was based on where the sun is, I guess. It was, you're always shaded. Right, which was really nice. Yeah. Details. You're paying an extra $300 a night for club level. So the question you have to ask yourself is, is that worth it to you? I get my nice big breakfast meal. It, I know it's taken care of, I know it's there. Like I said, all of the water bottles, anytime I needed coffee, I could go in there. I wanted a hot tea at night. I wanted to grab a dessert or something like, that adds up so quickly. So I would think $300 extra a day, depending on how big your family is, especially if you have kids that need snacks like constantly. I think club level is the way to go. Also, it's nice to have a place to congregate that's not your room, you know? Yes. It's just a really cool experience. So yeah. we highly recommend it. Would recommend 10 out of delicious. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we've got other videos from that trip. We have a review of the Storytellers Cafe and the Blue Bayou. So make sure you check out those videos too. Thank y'all so much.